Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're picking up right where we left off in the last episode, uh, where we're going to go to the machine store and start getting machinery that we need to get into Tier 2 mining. So very excited to do this. Uh, one thing I'm a little bit concerned about is when the morning comes, uh, we're going to be... Uh, we're going to have to pay our rent, and that might drop us down below the amount that we need to do all this stuff. So we'll just see how it goes. And, you know, if I have to do a little more of the Tier 1 mining to get to where we need to go, then that's what we got to do. It looks like I'm going the wrong way. Let's get our lights on, too, by the way. Turn around here. So I haven't been to the machine shop yet. This will be our first time going there. Clunk. All right. So we drive over here. Buy a small excavator. Oh yeah, baby. That's just what we want to do. That is what we want to do. Let's park our vehicle here. All right, so this is the one they want us to buy. This uh, is going to cost us fifteen thousand dollar. Make you holla. Uh, press E to order. It's a minotaur. Neat. Okay. Uh, we want one of these. And. Oh, you can rent these? Do you have to dig a hole in your garden? Don't waste your time with a shovel. Get into the excavator and dig for gold. Um, well, the tutorial is telling us to buy it, not rent it. But you could rent it for 605 bucks a day. So that means... If you rented it for, you'd have to rent it for about 24-ish days before you paid this much for it. So if you're going to have it for at least 24 days, it's better to buy it. But anyway, we're just going to do what the tutorial says. Okay, so we'll add that to the thing. Now we got to go over here. Paint shop, check out, transport. Okay. Order one excavator for $15,000. The machines have been automatically transported to our nearest storage space. You can move them to your claim from the transport window next to you. There's a limit to how many vehicles from the machine store you can have on your claim at the same time, so you may have to sacrifice one for another. You can increase this limit at the bank or transport window for a price. Remember that every vehicle counts as one, so make sure there's enough space before you spend all your money on one of them. Okay. So now we go over here, and we have the small excavator that's in the storage space, and we want to transport it to the old Arnold parcel. Is that what this does? I don't know. Um, oh yeah, choose the small excavator, transport it to there, move machine. Okay, that's going to cost us 1500 bucks right there. Excellent. Okay, so we have transported our machine. Look at this drill, man. This is cool. Um, later on, we'll be able to get to that later on. Now we get to go to the machine shop. Okay, so we have $7,466 right at the moment. So it wants us to buy a mobile wash plant. And that's going to cost us $55.50 right there. Uh, okay, so press E to order. We want one of those. Okay. Uh, buy a bucket. Okay, just one bucket. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's look at the journal here. Uh, we are now in tier two. Okay, so 
mobile wash plant. Go to the equipment store. Go to the machine store, buy a small excavator. Okay, we've already done that. So let's go back this way for a second. Um, so the, this is the list of things we need. We already have the, the water pump. So we're going to need the mobile wash plant, the generator, cables and hoses, three buckets, and a magnetite separator. I don't know if we're going to have enough money to do all of this. Um, okay. Well, let's um let's just do what we can here. So we're supposed to buy three buckets. We actually have some buckets back at the base though. Um, but let's just buy three anyway, because that's what we need. Buy a water splitter. A water splitter. This thing. That's $121. Make you holla. Okay. Now what? Buy a fat water hose connector. A fat water hose connector. Uh, right here. So that's, uh, oh, that's like a coupler, right? Okay. All right, now what? Buy a mobile generator. Mobile generator is over here. That's going to cost $302. Buy a high voltage power cable. Okay, hold on a second. Looks like we only need one high voltage power cable right here. Okay. Let's not let me uh, access it. There we go. Okay, now what? Buy a jerry can. We already have a jerry can. So I don't think we need to buy another one of those. Well, I think we need to for the tutorial though, right? So uh, over here. I'm sure it's not going to hurt for us to have a couple anyway. Buy three fat water hoses. These guys. Okay. Buy a thin water hose. One of these. Buy a small diesel water pump. But we already have one. Well, I guess we have to do it for the tutorial. Now we have two. Maybe we'll be able to put them both to use okay i don't know if we're gonna have enough money for this you guys oh uh, just barely look at that just barely enough money okay um so let's order that i i think i don't know what's gonna happen oh wait a minute how do i have how do i have 12.834 ounces of gold Uh, where did that come from? Or does the tutorial give it to me so I can pay Arnold? <laughs> I don't, I wonder if that's what that's for. All right. Because we, I mean, we, we sh sold all of our gold at the end of the evening, right? Okay. That. That must be what that's for. I, I, I can't explain it otherwise. Huh. All right. So we got to get all this stuff loaded into our vehicle. Um, and we also have this fuel can. So let's put that out of the way for a minute. I want to put the largest items in first. So that would be you. Trying to see if I can get it in here in a nice organized fashion yeah that looks pretty good uh, now we have a new water pump and let's see if we can put that one in on this side all 
There we go. Okay, so I guess the next thing we probably want to put in is this. And we'll stick that down there. And then let's do the coupler. There we go. That's good enough. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we want it to be in there nice and neat. Uh, the fat water hoses, I guess, would be next. What happens if we can't close sideboard? Okay. All right, let's close that. That in there. I hope that stuff stays in there. Let's put the cable there. The small water hose can go here. I wish I could stack these buckets inside of one another. That's definitely what you would do in real life. I don't know if that's going to stay up there or not. I guess we'll find out. Okay, that, that went in nice and neat. We still have to make room for our two jerry cans, though, too. That sort of kind of stacked. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, all right. And then we'll put the jerry cans right in the corner where we can get to them nice and easily. Okay, I think that's everything. And now we've got to hook up to the mobile wash plant. So let's get in the truck here. And we have to pull out this way. And then back up here. Nope, 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 nope. I don't really like the fact that the game switches the camera on you when you're backing up like that. All right, let's just see if we can make this work. We're supposed to be able to take that and hitch it on there. Okay, that worked. That worked. Excellent. Okay. Let's take our stuff to our our place. So we should be able to just go right through here. I want to go nice and slow. Oh, you know what? Though we need gas. Yeah, that's right. Forgot. We need gas. Okay, back it up. Okay, let's go to the gas station. Looks like all that stuff's staying in there okay. I'm going to actually pull around, come in through this side, so we're pointing the right direction. This is not as easy as it looks, you guys. <laughs> okay. How are we doing on fuel in here? I think we're okay. Oh yeah, we got we got lots of fuel. In fact, more than we probably should have, considering how much driving around I've done. But whatever. I'm not gonna complain. Especially with the gas prices these days. Okay, so let's grab you. And where's the other jerry can? It's right here. Let 
You know, I'll bet we could straight up fill these guys. Yeah, why, why don't we? We might as well, right? Okay. Okay, let's also do this one. Okay, so those guys are full, and then we'll put fuel in the cans too. There we go. Okay, we'll put these back in here. Just trying to re-situate those so they're a little bit better. It wants us to go here, take the fuel nozzle. Oh, is that gonna screw up our, oh shoot. Is that gonna screw up our thing? Refill jerry can. That's the problem with these tutorials is you try and do things. Maybe that's all it takes. Okay, good. That's all it took to satisfy the tutorial. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, everybody going to stay put? I think so. All right, let's go out to our parcel, and we're going to uh, sleep, and then we'll start setting things up in the morning. So it is late. Okay, so it looks like it wants us to go down here. Detach mobile wash plant from your pickup. Okay, so what we're going to do is... We're going to go sleep. Okay, so yeah, I guess... Process pay dirt earned gold. I, like I said, I, I'm, I'm assuming that, that that gold that we have must have been given us given to us from the tutorial. Uh, where's our place at? I think it's over. Yeah, it's over this way. That's interesting. Okay, we need to get some sleep. We're tired. And it's morning. Okay, so. Oh, you know what? This is this is in place for us to use. Right. Okay, I remember doing this in the prologue. For us to use for the big mining operation later. Uh, all right, so um, where do we want to set up at? That's already been dug. Oh, I wonder if that's the digging that I did. That must have been the digging that I did in the prologue. Okay. We don't want to be super far away from the creek, because I think that's going to be our water source. There was... I thought there was, like, a water tower or something over here during the prologue. Uh, but I'm not seeing it. And it's even, you know, further away now anyway. Okay. 
Well, I think the, the tutorial wants us to use the crick no matter what. So let's go back this way. This is nice and level right here. We could set up operation right here. And then our pay dirt's just like right here to get to it. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? So we want to position this so we can easily get to it with uh, the backhoe. This is, <laughs> it's not working quite the way I wanted it to, but here. Let's bring it around like right here. Okay, I'm gonna hop out for a second and see if that's in a good spot. It's pretty level right there. And we could probably sit here with the backhoe and start scooping out of there at least for starters. We, you know, we can always move this later. It is, after all, a mobile wash plant. So I think that's where we're going to start. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to start. So let's go ahead and unhitch. Take the small diesel water pump. Okay, let's get this guy out of the way, but not too far out of the way. All right, so take the small diesel water pump. That's this guy here. Can we pull that out of there? Yep. Put the small diesel water pump in the highlighted place. Uh, way, way back over there? Okay. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's going to want us to stay down there. We might have to move it back down there, but we could start there and then move it back up to my spot later. Okay, so let's just put it right here then. Okay, take a fat water hose. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to want us to set up where it told us to park. So let's let's just go back there now with the, the thing. And like I said, we'll start there and then we can move. We can move later. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly where we should leave the truck so we can get to all of our stuff. So let's just kind of bring it up to here. For now. Okay. So take a fat water hose. And connect the fat water hose to the end hole of the small pump. That's going to be this hole here. Wait. There we go. All right. Take the fat water hose connector. And I, I, we just walk it back to here, I think. And we drop it in the water. Okay, why is the tutorial being weird, though? What's it mean by take the connector? I just took the connector. You don't mean this connector, do you? Well, uh, what we have to do is put a filter on it. Oh, I don't know. Did we even buy a filter? I don't think we bought a filter. <laughs> take the fat water hose connector. Okay, let's come back here. Okay, we have it. Now what do we do with it? Uh, okay, let's wind the cable up a little bit here. Is 
Maybe just a little bit more. Come on, man. Straighten out. There we go. That's a good placement. Um, It didn't tell us to buy a filter, though, did it? Yeah, it, mm, I don't know if it told us to buy a filter, but there is. It does show that there's a filter there. Uh, but it didn't. Sh it doesn't have a filter here. Dog on it. Okay. Um, can we remove this filter and put it on here? There. If we use this later, we'll have to bring another filter over. All right, I don't know what it wants me to do. Uh, this is set up correctly. <laughs> so I'm a little confused. Let's look at the thing. Water filter, water hose input. So we've done all of that. And then it looks like the green hose has to go to the mobile wash unit. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I I think I know what it's saying. Um, it wants the coupler thing. That's what it wants. Right? Right? Except for that's not the fat one. It wants the fat one. So that's this guy right here. There we go. Okay. Put fat water hose connector in highlighted place. Fat water hose connector in highlighted place. Where is that at? I don't... Uh, oh, here. Right where we parked, just about. Okay. Take a fat water hose. Connect fat water hose connector and small diesel pump. With fat water hose. Okay, so that means we want to go to the output of this and put that into here. Let's wrap it up a little bit so it's a little neater. Not what I wanted to do. Drop that. Okay. Wind it up a little bit so it's nice and straight. What? Come on, Ming. There we go. That's not perfectly straight, but it'll work. <laughs> it'll have to do. Okay, take the water splitter and put it in the spot here. Take a fat water hose. And run from the coupler to the thing. There we go. All right, take thin water hose. And connect it to the mobile wash plant. Gotcha. So we can just pop this into any one of these nozzles here. And this goes right over into here. All right. Look at that. Awesome. Take the mobile generator and put it on the ground.
Whoops. No, no, no. Close the lid. Pick up the generator. Okay, do you want me to put it in? Yep. I was going to say in a particular spot. Looks that way. Uh, I don't know which direction it should go, so I guess we'll put it this way. So the outlets are, whoops, facing the mobile wash unit. Take the high voltage power cable. Connect mobile generator and mobile wash plant with high voltage cable. Gotcha. Nice. Put the bucket underneath the mobile wash plant. Is that all the rest of our stuff? Yeah, it looks like it. it looks like it wants it right there. Jump into the excavator. Don't we don't we have to turn this stuff on though? Right, let's just follow the tutorial so I don't screw something up. Our excavator was delivered over there. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to move this. I hope it doesn't matter if we run over our hose. Okay, let's run over and get our shiny new excavator here. Oh, we gotta um, go into excavator mode and get this off the ground. Okay, now let's go back to drive mode. And head over to our dig spot. Okay. So now we just have to remember how to do this. Um, I'm going to bring up the controls here. And get into dig mode. And using the mouse to bring that out. And then we go, see that brings it back, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> bring that in, bring it up a little bit. There we go, okay. Okay, so we have to bring this down. Uh, I think we need to back up a little bit, actually. Well, what happens if we do this? We kind of hit the, the grates there, but yeah, we should probably back up just a little bit. Okay, so let's go back into drive mode. Try right about here. All right, keep pouring dirt into the mobile wash plant until it reaches 100. Gotcha. Okay. Open you up. That seems to be a reasonably full bucket there. Uh, we might need to bring that in a little. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, that's actually not a bad position. I think that's good. Okay. I don't think we need this up for the moment. I just gotta get used to this again. It doesn't quite wanna scoop scoop that. I think we need to put this out more. There we go. Okay. Now down. Wow, it's like that piece of ground there is really hard. All right, let's go back over here. Okay, that's not a full bucket, but... Keep hitting the wrong buttons. It takes a little bit of getting used to, man. Bring that in. Fifty-eight percent. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I'll tell you, we'll get better at it as time goes on. I don't know why it won't dig here. It just it's like it's too It's too, like it's too hard or something. So let's just keep working on this spot. There we go, that was a good dig. Oh, so we do find big nuggets, even though we can't actually see them in the bucket. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's how that works, I suppose. Okay, let's just put this down here and turn the excavator off. Okay, turn on the small diesel water pump. We've already filled these with, with fuel, so we're good to go there. Grab the little pole handle here. Turn on the mobile generator. Turn on the mobile wash plant. Wait for mobile wash plant to process dirt, and then take the bucket from underneath the mobile wash plant. Okay, I guess that's it. Unless they want us to get a full bucket. Oh yeah, okay, use gold pan or wave table to gather your gold. Okay, well we don't have a wave table, so I guess... Uh, there's not much in there. I'm, I just want to finish the tutorial because then I'm going to redo all of this anyways, the way I want to do it. Uh, but let's just go finish it out by grabbing our gold pen. That's probably all that's in there. A lot of nuggets in there. My goodness, look at all those nuggets. Okay. It's kind of hard to get to all of them here. None of these seem to be registering. So let's do this. Okay, I think that's it.
All right, so um, now we need to gather $510,000. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's actually go look at the journal for a second. We're going to want to make things a little bit better for ourselves. So we're going to need to get a magnetite separator. Um, and we're going to need to get a wave table. So we need those two additional pieces of equipment in order to really max out our tier two mining. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of this stuff up to that other spot that I, I wanted to go to up here uh, where it's nice and level, but then, you know, we're right next to the pay dirt and start working on this. And when we can afford to buy those uh, two additional pieces of equipment, in fact, what I might end up doing is buying the wave table first um, because that essentially removes the, the panning requirement. And then we'll buy the magnetite separator after that uh, and get this uh, operation fully set up here for tier two. Uh, but that is it for this episode. So, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.